Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. My name is Joanne. I am your host today with a, another phenomenal guest, just like all week long. Um, really quick, because I want to make it clear. Um, yes, I am live over on Decade in a Day right now as you're watching this live. Um, so we had to do a little shuffling today. So this technically is a recording, but it's just about a day behind or so. So uh, I appreciate you. We still have Legendary live in the comments right now um, and watching all of those. But this is technically a recording since I am live over on Decade in a Day. But without further ado, and I appreciate Ashley's flexibility with her schedule so we can get this recorded and this interview to all of you. Um, let's welcome Ashley to the show. Hello. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> I am so excited to have you on. Um, in the title, we, call, we we titled it Second Time's a Charm, <laughs> right? We So let's first talk about what you were doing beforehand, how you found leg Legendary, and then we'll get into the first and second time around. How about that? Sure. Um, so we, we found the challenge in September. And we loved it. We we decided to um, do it as a team because we do everything as a team, like everything, <laughs> literally. Your husband? That yeah. Are? Okay. yeah, my husband. And we started, like, promoting together. Um, and then five months had went by, and we weren't seeing the success that we had hoped for. Um. So I completely rebranded. So most of the people who know me now know me as only as Make Cash with Ash. Um, I love that tagline. I love your social handles. It was so <laughs> easy to remember. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what were your hus What were you and your husband looking for when you found the challenge? Were you looking for a side hustle, or did it just one of you come across it and was like, "Hey, what do you think about this? How did that come about?" Um, so I had actually seen a side hustle video on Facebook about reading, like these, these websites will pay you to read. Um, mm -hmm. and I clicked on it and I clicked through her page and I found legendary. And at the time we were struggling, like just paycheck to paycheck. Like we had enough for gas, groceries and a roof over our head, but that was like it. Um, and I didn't want to go back to work after my youngest was born. He didn't want to have to pick up a second job. So um, for us, this like seemed like a good opportunity and it seemed like something we could do together. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you guys went through the challenge, did your meetings with your advisor all together? Yep. And we used to do like TikTok lives together and we would film all of our content together. Wow. Okay. So at some point that stopped. So did it, do you want to share why it stopped or why there was a change? Yeah. So um, in February, we went to Vegas for our anniversary. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if I'm allowed to like name drop, but Christy Childs, who is like amazing and legendary. We, we had a, like a one-on-one -on -one with her and she was basically like, who are you guys? Like, I don't even know what your husband's name is. She was like, I don't know how many kids you have. I don't know, like, why you're doing this. I don't know how it's helped you. And I was like, wow. <laughs> like, I need to really think about this. So the whole rest of the trip, not really what you should be thinking about on a honeymoon, but the whole rest of the trip, I was like, okay, how can I improve our business? How can I, like, what what do we need to shift to Right. See, see what we want to see. And mm -hmm. ultimately I decided I'm going to be a solopreneur. <laughs> I love that. I love that. How did your husband respond? Well, now he always jokes that I fired him. So I think he's a little salty, but yes. mostly he understands. And honestly, I think he's happy to have a little like a little less responsibility. He can just be my right. cheerleader behind the scenes. And right. do you feel like maybe in some ways he was a crutch? Um, yeah. So like, I, yeah, like I'm anxious, like 
I'm like scared to show my face. I'm scared to talk on in my videos. And I was like, if I do this with him, I'll feel, you know, more safe. And I was even like, Hey, you want to go on like wake up legendary with me? He's like, no, he's like, we're we're not a team anymore. You fired me. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm like, yeah, okay. You're right. Wow. That's, I love this because it was, it was still stepping forward into something new. There was some fear involved. Yeah. There, you, you found a little safety net doing it with your spouse, but for you to make real big leaps and bounds, you had to go all in. You had yeah. to get rid of the, the security wall, the warm jacuzzi. You need to jump in the cold pool and go for it. Yeah. And once you did that, everything changed, right? Literally everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I love, even that you mentioned when you met Christy is, yeah, I think that's a common issue with a lot of people They're They have so many walls up, but they're like, no, I'm going to do this, but they don't share anything about them. There's no history. There's no story. They're just trying to get somebody to click a link. Yeah. But no reason why. Yeah. Um, and, and all it is, is fear and having too many walls up around you and you, you got to break those down and, and step through it. And it's, it's scary. It how did is, that feel? Worth it. <laughs> right. So how did that go when you made that decision, you had the discussion and now it's time to take action on your own. Now it's time to post that first video. You've rebranded all of your socials and it's all about you. How did that feel in that moment on that day? A little empowering, but also like terrifying. Yeah, I bet. But also empowering. And did you feel that emotion a little more each day as it went? It was like restarting my journey over again. Like it was Mm. like being day one again. It was, you know, I created a new domain name and new sales funnels and and everything. Like everything was restarting. And yeah, definitely terrifying, but way worth it. (laughs) Oh, I love that. I love it. So what was your biggest change besides obviously the name and it's just you? What did you change specifically in your content? this time around um i think the main thing was like talking to a specific target audience so Mm -hmm. like i kept hearing people say if you're talking to everyone you're talking to no one and i'm like what does that mean and then i got it and now i tell people hey if you're talking to everyone you're talking to no one (laughs) some (laughs) days that'll either click for them or it won't but hopefully it does right and somebody out there is thinking the same thing you once did what does she mean by that what is that (laughs) Yeah, that was me for like three or four months. I was like, if I'm talking to everyone, I'm talking to no one. Okay. (laughs) Right. And I think that's really hard for um, those that are new to the space and new to marketing to really grasp because common sense tells us, well, if I I talk to everyone, I'm talking to everyone, (laughs) I'm talking to everybody and then everybody's going to buy and click on my link and I'm going to be a gazillionaire, right? (laughs) Basically, that's what I, that's what we thought. Yeah, and it, that's that literally it, it literally means if you're trying to talk to everybody, you connect with no one. And without connection, there is no sale. Yes. And that's ultimately what that is. Um, and it, it is a, it's a weird concept to grab. It just kind of goes against that common sense that we kind of learned as a child. <laughs> but you got to have a nice, tight, growing community of followers that really connect to you as a personal brand, because that's what you're building, right? Um, over just, you know, Joe Schmo, Ashley online, click my link, right? It's just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And actually, like, now that you said that too, another thing that we didn't necessarily do before that I started doing on my own is like having conversations. So I think before it was kind of like people didn't know who they were talking to. When you get 
like message from a couple's account. It's like, okay, am I talking to Ashley or am I talking to Ryan? Like no one ever knew. So now like if people say, send me info, they know that I'm the one like messaging them and we can have real conversations from like one mom to another and have like actual connections, which is really nice. Like I've, I've met a lot of amazing people already. Oh, I love that. That's really cool. And that's a good point that I didn't even think about. I, I mean, that would be weird. Like I would kind of be limited, worried about reaching out to an account where, wait, am I going to talk to him or her? Cause I connect with her cause I'm the mom or am I suddenly talking to him? And now that's kind of weird. And, you yeah. know, like, and then vice versa for a guy, you know, like they're like, which one am I talking to? What's the ideal audience? What's the client here? Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's huge. Definitely that so we huge. didn't talk about in the beginning, but mm -hmm. it was a learning experience. I don't regret it because now I can relate to people who like are going to struggle because it's inevitable. Not everyone's going to see success their first day or week or month. Right. But and I can say, Hey, listen, I was I was there and all you need to do is keep going, try new things, be consistent. And just like, don't give up because I think, I don't remember what part of the challenge or the blueprints this is in, but it's like, keep going because you never know when your miracle is right around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, and it just won't be, there's no chance of it being there if you stop. Exactly. <laughs> everyone, when it hits is different for everyone. There's no guarantee. There's no promise of when that will happen, but it will happen if you keep going. Yeah. So there was something you said that I, it, it comes up a lot. It even comes up in our live support calls. I see it in posts and, and that is, well, you got to change things up. You got to do some things different, test some things out. And I think people take that the wrong way. They think I have to make a big change, like change my whole niche. Or that means I am supposed to quit this and go do a totally different career. That's not what we're talking about. That's not the change we're looking for. Right. right? If you're filming the last 30 pieces of content are from your phone like this, and you're just talking at it like that. And there's a little bit of, you know, text on screen. I want you to go back and make all those videos over. And I want you to be walking around. I want you to put B-roll behind it. I want you to change the hook that's on it. And, and that's what we mean by testing and doing things different. What does it mean for you when you look at your content and you um, try to do new things with your business and content? Um, well, I think in the beginning, like for the couple's account, mm -hmm. didn't really know what kind of content we wanted to do. So everything was kind of all over the place. So um, like Ryan... How, Halbert or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. I always watched his videos and I liked that he was always in the same place. He has like the same type of shirt, everything. When you go to his page, you know what to expect. Right. So I started trying to do that with my mate cash with Ash, where if people go to my page. They know I'm either going to be at my desk or outside on my back patio. And that's the, that's the two types of videos you're going to get. Um, right. So it was, it's, it's about like being consistent so people like, I guess, just know what to expect. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's, there's something to be said there. We are, we are a human beings love things. We know we like to feel comfortable, right? There's a reason even kids watch reruns of the same Disney movie over and over and over and over and over. Yeah. There's comfort because they have knowledge about it. And even as adults, people rewatch reruns all the time. And there's a lot of, and that's why it's okay to keep telling your story over and over. That's why it's okay to repost content that went really well. People connect to you more when they know what to expect. Nothing's out of the ordinary. It's a safe place. You now look safe to them and they're now more likely to buy from you. Yeah. And that's what you're doing by deciding, you know, what, I'm going to make my content in this place for this place. And I'm giving my audience that safe place to further connect to you and really listen to your message that you're giving. And I love that. I think that's awesome. 
I definitely need like a home office like Ryan, but (laughs) it's, it's nothing special yet, but yeah, it, it is. It's about giving them something where they feel comfort. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, totally. And, you know, Sarah Thompson, busy, crazy, you know, super crazy, busy mom with traveling all over with sports. And it just makes sense. Her content is in the car. It's in the kitchen. She's getting ready in the bathroom. She, it, but it matches her audience. Yeah. Right. It matches the messaging that she's always giving. Um, and everyone has their own little piece of messaging that matches what their audience is. And that's what you should test out um, to anybody that's watching. Test those little things out. Test how the messaging is presented. Do the, this. It's the same value you're providing. You're just tweaking it a little bit, you know? So what was your favorite part from the challenge? Because you did that with your spouse and then dove in later on your own. But what was your favorite part of the challenge? Um, Probably day three. Like, I, I mean, and it's probably because I've watched it so many times. But I remember when I when we were watching, I was I was looking at him like, do you understand this? Because I have no idea what's going on. Like, what's a funnel? What's <laughs> like, <laughs> um. And he, he actually, it was funny because back six months ago, he was the one who helped me with all the technical stuff. And now like I have a Facebook group and I, I asked the group, I was like, what's a skill you've mastered this year? And I was like, I've mastered funnel building because, because I could do that on any software. Whereas six months ago, I didn't even know what a funnel was. Right. So it's just really cool. Like, I think that that day three just blew my mind and got me really excited. Oh, I love that. Cause usually people say day four on the mindset, but day three is a little techie and all of that. And I want everyone that's watching this right now to remember what she just said. It didn't matter what software it was. It was the funnel itself. Yeah. Doesn't matter what software. So do not sit here for days, weeks in a, holding pattern, trying to decide if you should go click funnels or get response or system IO or whatever else has landed in your inbox at this point in time, or that's come across it with an ad. Um, the software does not decide your conversions. One software will not convert over another, right? What matters is which software you connect with the easiest to create a funnel because they all work just a little bit differently and we all learn a little bit differently. So all you need to do is quickly decide which one lets you get a funnel live the quickest. And that's all that matters because you're going to change it all the time. (laughs) So the software itself doesn't matter. It's the actual funnel and can you get it live and take action quickly with it that's all that matters would you agree what are, what's your thoughts on the whole the funnel debate that is always happening in our facebook groups oh it's you know the the people who will say like oh i can't afford click funnels i guess i can't do this and i'm just like do you read my emails <laughs> do, do you do you go on my facebook group do you know do you know you can build a sales funnel on a weber like for free <laughs> like do you know their system io do you know like um mm-hmm. so i think but and in, and in, in the truth of it is people will use that as an excuse because they're scared but for me day three was like wow so, like just the difference between a sales funnel and a website and why like maybe I didn't have success in some of my other like online businesses. I didn't have a sales funnel. Oh, okay. So So when, what were these, uh, what was the other online business? Let's back up the train. (laughs) Um, No, it was just like a custom Etsy, like not Etsy, but I was creating a lot of designs with my Cricut. Oh, okay. Okay. And unsuccessfully. (laughs) <laughs> it was an expensive hobby. Yeah. yeah. 
I broke even and then I quit because I was like, all right, that was too much work. <laughs> right. Yeah. When you got to produce the items, that's a whole other element. That was working harder, not smarter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of people on Etsy because they're hand making things and it's, there's only so many hands in so many hours and that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work yeah. to maintain long-term. All the credit to them. I mean, I, yeah. I try always to support small businesses like that and stuff, mm -hmm. but me, myself, I will never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> How long ago was that? Um, that was 2020. Okay. Oh, yeah, a while ago, but I tried for a year. So how long, so you've had a little inner entrepreneur bug. How long have you had that? Has it always kind of been there even when you were younger? Well, that's funny because I was just talking to someone about that the other day. My dad, when I was a kid, um, he had a insurance business. Okay. So I said, I think I got my entrepreneurial spirit through him. <laughs> yeah, totally. I get that. I had um, a number of like, great grandparents that they owned bars and gas station delivered gas to different farms and all of that um but my parents themselves were like no you gotta get a job it's too insecure i think because they they grew up watching it but not really learning all of it um but there's definitely some entrepreneur flowing through the blood of my family for sure that's the way to go honestly like i will instill this into my children because if I could have saved $55,000 on college, man, <laughs> that would have been mm. nice. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not for everyone. It is a great college is a great thing. I will never not college. I went to college. I'm nowhere in my degree at this point <laughs> in college. <laughs> um, and but it's, it's not the end all be all. Right. That's what I want to make sure they know. Like if you want to go to college, because like you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be a mm -hmm. teacher, but if you don't know what you want to be, consider other avenues. Yeah, totally. Figure some things out before you sit there and you're on your five and a half, six years in because you changed your major five times because <laughs> you had no clue what you wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people that have gone down that path. <laughs> yes. And it just, that tuition just keeps adding up the longer you're there and the more it you're does. switching around. Yeah, totally. I get it. I get it. So what is next for Make Cash with Ash and your business? Um, I don't know. I mean, if I could keep things exactly how they are, that would be great. I just want to keep helping more people because I've, I've reached a lot more people. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it took us five months to get our first TikTok to like 5,000 followers. And I think today is my one month being Make Cash with Ash. And I think I'm very close to 80,000 followers between my three oh. um, accounts. So... Um, it's just trying to connect with as many of those followers as I can and then seeing how, how I can best help them. Um, possibly offering like one-on-ones in the future. Cause I know there is a lot of interest in that, mm -hmm. but I might become an affiliate for like a few more companies here really, really soon. <laughs> nice. Okay. I love that. So you're across multiple platforms, obviously. Is there one that you connect with more? Has it been easy growth on all three? So when I first started this, I had never done TikTok or Instagram before. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, everyone's on TikTok. I should probably do that. But then as I was going through like my first five months, people would say, do the platform that you know the best. Do the platform you know the best. I'm like, oh, I don't want to restart you know, cause I found this on Facebook. So what I should have done is start on Facebook because I know that the best. So right. when I rebranded, I took all of my content from TikTok and I started putting it on Facebook and Instagram. Mm -hmm. The one that has worked best for me personally is Facebook, which makes sense because <laughs> that's all I ever knew before this. I didn't know TikTok. I didn't know Instagram. Like I didn't know mm -hmm. 
any of that. So you live and you learn. <laughs> you know, the first platform you should always start with is the one you use personally. Because it's just the one you know the most, whether you realize it or not. Yeah, I've, I've, I've learned that. And I, I, but I, again, I don't wish I would have done anything differently because now I know how to create content on TikTok and repurpose it. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I'll change that unless anything happens to TikTok. Then I'll have to change that. But, (laughs) and that very well could happen, but it's all good. You just pivot and move on and hop on the next one. I'm already hearing rumblings of all like the same entity coming up with another app and you know we've all heard it so who knows where we'll land in the next month or so (laughs) I'm fine with going like five years ago me I would have quit so long ago but I'm just like I'm at the point and I I have more drive that I like nothing will stop me you could they could shut down TikTok Instagram and Facebook and I'd find some other way to do it (laughs) Because all creators will. And it doesn't matter how we market. Every business still needs marketing. Yeah. So if how that shifts, whether it's on social media or a different way, the need, the skill set is still there. Yeah. And you just shift and grow with it. And the marketers that don't shift and grow with the market even are still trying to put out messaging from two years ago, three years ago, or getting left behind because they're unwilling to continue to shift with the market. And I think that's important. But what's cool here is our community is so well connected. Um, we just keep going, right? I, and, yeah, yeah. I, I love the legendary community. Like I've met so many friends. I've met people in real life. I've like video chatted people like Everyone is amazing. And when I hear people say like, oh, like legendary doesn't offer any support. I'm like, really? I know. (laughs) Really? Because I like, I've had outpouring of support from like, even people who are way up here, way above me, they, they are still willing to help little make cash with Ash. (laughs) Right. It just doesn't matter. I mean, if you feel like you're not getting your answer, ask again or ask a different way. Maybe the question wasn't clear, you know, um, there's, there's always, but we have so many avenues. I mean, our customer support team alone is phenomenal. Um, and will help you out. We have our live support calls Monday through Friday. We have all the Facebook groups varying, um, that are very active. So there's always somebody, there's always your advisor too. So yeah, definitely. I love the legendary community for sure. Yeah, proud to be a part of it. Yeah, um, definitely. So you mentioned you have a Facebook group, correct? Yes. So for everyone, when did you start it in your journey? Like, how? what was your following like? How did you start it? How did you grow it? Let's talk this Facebook group. Are you happy you started it? <laughs> yeah, my make cash with Ash one or before? Um, probably your... Whichever one you want to tell us about. What was the before? Uh, with your okay. husband, you had one? I'll give a quick comparison. Okay. 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 My With my husband, we started the Facebook group about two months in, I would say. Okay. By the time I deleted it, which was a week after I started to make cash with Ash, I had 17 members in my group. Okay. When I created my Ashley Way and Make Cash with Ash Facebook group, profile and business page I started the Facebook group right away I had it linked I had people requesting to join the group on my very first post wow. like I said today is one month and I think my group is very close to 500 if not it hit it today um so but I wouldn't tell people who because me starting day one five months in technically day one I don't know if everybody should start at day one right I got Um, you I don't think you could regret it like why why not try I mean you'll never know if you don't try but um how often do you post how much how much attention do you give your group does it require you So my Facebook group is priority number one. When I wake up in the morning, check in there that I don't have any messages or or posts or comments or anything from them. Um, 
I try to post twice a day. I do like a welcome post every day. And then I do like a conversation starter in the night. Um, and then, um, of course I allow any comment, any post in the group other than like, and we've had a couple like DM me for this, this, and this. And it's right. like, oh, did you not agree to the group group rules? Oh, I see you did. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I'm sure you guys this is way more, way more spaces, but um, yeah, pe- people are crazy and funny. So, in your content, then your call to action is to join your group. Usually, uh, never. never. Um, okay. No, never, because I don't want people. My call to action in some of my emails is join my Facebook group. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you definitely have planned out the journey you want somebody to go through as they experience you so that you're not throwing everything at them at once. You're, you're giving them these, here's a little, here's a little nugget. Here's the next little piece. Take a few more steps down the journey with me down the path. Right. Yeah. (laughs) Here's a little more. Oh, here's my Facebook group. You should join it. Um, And you have a, you've really thought out your strategy, which I love. It's very apparent as you t- as I talk to you that there is a clear strategy that you have in mind. The gears uh, are always turning. <laughs> yep, I love that, and and I think that's an important piece for everyone to remember. They need to have it. Doesn't need to be in depth and all planned out crazy, but you need to have something planned. Yeah. You can't just create a Facebook group and hope people join and then don't post in it and just wait for people to comment or, you know, leave a post because that's never going to happen. Right. Right. And you probably, I'm assuming you had a list building from when you were building your business with your husband, you had an email list going and maybe you announced the, the adjustment to that list or did you just can it all together and start over? So here's exactly how I can tell you we were not reaching the target audience. Okay. We had close to a thousand people on our original email list. Two mm-hmm. of them, two of them went and followed my new stuff and joined my new Facebook group. Wow. So when I created my new list, which is now over 3,000 in mm-hmm. a month, mm-hmm. 1,000 in five months, <laughs> 3,000 in one month. But I mean, those people are more connected to me whereas those the people before weren't so will I ever email on that list again no I probably should just go and delete them but wow might eventually. That is so telling that is so telling for anyone right now who is just scared to go out there and talk to their ideal audience and turn which means turning some people off not yeah. talking to everybody Go out there and be your weird, crazy, awesome, amazing self and throw it all out into your content. Look at the results that happened right down to the email list. That's wild. Yeah. Unbelievable. And I've seen it before. And I love that you came on today just to really demonstrate this in action of what this means and what this looks like when you market kind of with a lot of walls around you versus let's go all in big difference. Yeah. This is huge. This is an amazing, huge Friday lesson for everyone (laughs) to let like soak in through the weekend, write out some planning and take action because it's time. Go to Vegas, come home and (laughs) rebrand. And Yes, it was scary, right? You said earlier, it's scary. What helped you push through the fear? My kids. Yeah. I was like, you know, I'm, it's not that this takes a lot of time out of my day. It really doesn't. I work around when my daughter's at school and when my son's napping, but Mm -hmm. I was like, for the results that we were seeing, it was not worth spending any time away from them. So I was like, I'm doing this to give them a better life that I didn't have. Maybe, 
maybe I should try again. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't, you know, think that this is all there is. Um, and yeah, of course my husband was super supportive. Like he, he was like, you can do it. He was like, I don't, I don't know why you ever thought you couldn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, I get that though. Sometimes it's just scary. And yeah, when you have a spouse or partner that's really supportive, it's, it's easy to latch on and want to say, we got to do this together. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I totally get it because my husband is super supportive and no matter what I bring to him, he's like, okay, I believe in you go for it. <laughs> Hope it works out, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, he will never tell me when something doesn't work out. He'll never tell me I told you so. He'd be like, all right, what'd you learn? What are you going to do now? Because he knows that my my wheels are always spinning. All right, this yeah. is what we're going to do now. <laughs> What's yeah. next? Even if I would have like failed rebranding, he still would have said, I'm proud of you for trying. Yeah. And there's still a lesson in that process. And there's still something that you grew stronger from no matter what. I'm definitely confident. Like, like I said, it's, it's like restarting over again, but with like a newfound confidence. And, um, I think, you know, your kids will see that too, right? They'll, they'll learn, they'll start to model that. And now they'll be at a totally different level of what normal confidence looks like. Yeah. My daughter gets home and she's like, how much money did you make today? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Because um, whenever we, whenever we really like started to make money, she was able to get like a new bed. And so it's like, mm. it, she's six and she had like a toddler bed, like a very small bed. And so we were able to get her a real bed and we were able to go on spring break and mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a good, it's a good opportunity. Yeah, totally. Cause she's learning something. All right. My mom's more confident. My mom's in Happy. charge, right? My mom's the boss. That's pretty <laughs> cool. I want to be the boss. Yeah. You start to see that. And you can buy stuff because you're the boss, right? I get something for it, right? <laughs> the, the little small connections, even when they're little, um, they start to connect the dots. Yeah, she's very smart. She She is catching on. <laughs> I love that. What's your advice for someone thinking about starting the challenge? Like they're sitting back, they're seeing the content, they've joined a Facebook group, they're watching posts, they're watching videos. They just can't pay the seven bucks. They just can't do it yet. What's your advice to them? Okay. I was thinking about this earlier, actually, because I'm always trying to think of new content ideas. Cause like actually Sarah Thompson, like how I was, I watch her and I watch like M Walcott and, and, and like the storytelling Caroline and Becca and all them. Yeah. And so I've, I've started trying to do that. And I was thinking the other day I went to a restaurant and I was, and I, I was trying a meal I'd never tried before. Didn't know if I was going to like it. It was 1299. Right. Mm -hmm. I spent $12.99. If I wouldn't have liked it, I was just out to $12.99. Right. If you spend $7 to try a 15 day training and you don't like it, you still learn something because there's no way out of all that information you didn't get something. Right. And it has unlimited earning potential after you take the $7. You eat a $12.99 meal, you're not getting your $12.99 back. You might get some upset stomach. <laughs> Um, but, but you take a $7 training and you have a different mindset, you have new skills like funnel building and everything like that. I mean, even if I never would have went on to do affiliate marketing, I could have relaunched my custom design business with funnels and emails and probably have been successful in that. But yeah, I guess that's, it's just that it's, it's not, you're not spending $7, you're investing $7. And the seven bucks doesn't mean you're, you're, you're locked into something for life, or, right? Like nobody's coming and chaining you to the computer. No, <laughs> nothing bad can happen. It's seven bucks. That's it. It's literally some Starbucks drinks. 
and you know how way that you may not even finish (laughs) yeah and you know how many people pay the seven dollars and they never pushed push play on day one Mm -hmm. i do (laughs) yeah you 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 thought about it all this time about spending seven dollars and then you you finally pay the seven dollars and you don't hit play right i can't help you if you can't help yourself right and to make it clear you get a ton of value in the challenge do we have other products Of course, every business would, but they're all optional. It's all a choice. And you just don't know if that's the right choice for you until you at least start on the path and start on the journey. Um, And there is a lot that you gain out of the challenge for sure. Just like you shared, you will have new knowledge in some form or fashion. You will definitely get some mindset help from the challenge, um, a new experience. And it's just like, just trying something out, like as if you went and tried out a new sport or a new hobby or a new activity or went on a vacation to check out a new place. Sometimes you like it. Sometimes you don't. The challenge lets you figure this out. How do I yeah. feel about this really? Exactly. For seven Not like people will approach me in my messenger, you know, oh, someone, someone was saying they would teach me, but it's going to be $2,000. And I'm like, okay, well, have you like, you know, have you taken the $7 training to see if you even want to do it? Well, no. Well, you should probably do that first before you go pay someone. Yeah, I, I would agree. And, and that may be a great option for them, but at least to see how you feel about it first. Yeah. Get a little bit of information, get informed. <laughs> Yeah. And the seven bucks is just seven bucks. And at the end of the day, we got a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you want your seven bucks back, you can get it. Just reach out to support. <laughs> it's worth way more than seven dollars. But like how how I've always heard it said is he could charge way more than that, but he really wants to help. Like he's doing it because mm-hmm. he wants to help. <laughs> and it it has. I've seen it. I've seen it. It changes lives. <laughs> Changed mind, like, but only if you decide to take action. Yeah, it like it works if you do. And obviously, the first five months were fine, but this last month has been amazing. Like, yeah, I've really seen it in action. Finally, <laughs> yeah, and it's not just your business; it's the growth you've had as you, as a yeah. person, as a human, as a mom, as a wife, as a business owner what a massive amount of growth in a short period of time that you're experiencing and seeing and now can share that that's that's so much value that you get to share that story that experience with your audience i'm excited to do it (laughs) yeah well i appreciate you coming on and sharing your story with us today i hope more than one i know will be inspired to Finally, hit play, watch a video, post a video, take some action, start a social media account, find a niche you love, build out the funnel and get it live and just start going. Imperfect action all day long, guys. Imperfect action. So I want to leave you with the final word. Um anything you want to share with our audience that's watching right now your number one tip number one tip just i mean don't be afraid like like don't be afraid to invest seven dollars don't be afraid to post that content don't be afraid to do that TikTok live don't be afraid to go on wake up legendary because here i am (laughs) um and even if you are do it anyways Yep. Here I am. (laughs) It's normal. It's normal to feel fear. So just take action through it. Yeah, totally. Well, you are amazing. Follow Ashley, please on Facebook, IG and TikTok at make cash with Ash all connected, no spaces, hyphens or anything like that. It's make cash with spelled out W I T H Ash A S H. Thank you so much for coming on today, Ashley. We definitely need to have you back. Meet Dave around two because I want to know how your round two of business 
continues to grow as well. I'm super excited for you. And keep me updated. Send me emails. You got questions. Let me know. Reach out to me personally, please. Okay. Love thank to you. hear about it. Yeah, definitely. So once again, thanks everyone. Have a fantastic Friday and we will see you back on Monday.